$540,000 nursing home bill? What? Hey folks, Elder Law Care Attorney Patrick Kelleher coming to you from elderlawcare.com. Folks, question of the day. If you or your spouse became completely incapacitated, how would you pay for that $15,000 per month nursing home? Folks, pull up a chair, get your pen and notebook out because we're going to get to work and get some answers and solutions around that question. Folks, first off, how much does a nursing home cost here in the Commonwealth? Well, you can ask Mr. or Mrs. Googles for that number and they'll report to you about $13,000, $14,000 per month on average here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. When I teach my educational elder law programs in the community, I often ask the folks in attendance, what is the cost of private paid nursing home in this area? And I'll hear numbers from 15,000, recently heard a number 22,000. Put it this way, folks, the number keeps increasing. A few years back, we were hearing numbers 12,000, 14,000. Now we're regularly hearing 15 to 18,000. Recently, again, I heard the numbers as high as 22,000. A family was private paying for their mother that was in a skilled nursing facility, okay? So folks, what is the true cost? If you take pen and paper out and your calculator, let's look at the statistical data. It says the average stay in the nursing home is about three years. So if you run the numbers three years, or 36 months, 36 months times, say even $15,000 per month nursing home. What is that number? Well, there you have it. I said it at the beginning of today's educational video. $540,000 Medicaid or nursing home bill. $540,000 nursing home bill. So folks, show your hands at home. How many of you have $540,000 earmarked, earmarked to cover your medical incapacity or stay in a nursing home for either yourself or your spouse if either of you became completely incapacitated due to a stroke or some other medical incapacitate, incapacity in the future. Folks, not many hands go up. Not many folks have $540,000 earmarked for that medical catastrophe. But show of hands at home, folks, how many of you own a home? More specifically, how many of you own a home with equity? Yes, most of us do, right? So this is what you need to know about Medicaid rules, the fourth headed monster here. You can own a home, your principal residence, valued at greater than a million dollars. So basically you can be house wealthy, cash not so wealthy, and still get on Medicaid benefits, potentially, so long as you require pursuant to the eligibility requirements. But you can be house wealthy, cash not wealthy, to get on Medicaid benefits. The downside to that, if your home is not protected, after you pass away, what is Medicaid permitted to do per Medicaid rules? Medicaid is permitted to put a lien on your home or other assets to be reimbursed dollar for dollar for what they paid in for your care, okay? So that's what you need to know, folks, around Medicaid rules. What is the solution, folks? The metaphorical sword and shield is to work with your elder law attorney, perhaps consider create an irrevocable Medicaid asset protection trust five years in advance because there's a five year look back period. You create that trust and sign it, Step two, you get your treasures, maybe your house transferred into your trust or treasure chest, then do your part like my late dear mom did. Eat your fruits and vegetables, take the dog for the walks, take care of your flower garden, and stay active for at least five years to beat out that five year look back period. So that way if the shoe drops beyond five years, five years in a day, the good news, your house will be off the table from MassHealth Medicaid. So there you have it folks, the cost of nursing homes in Massachusetts and some solutions around that. So that is your metaphorical sword and shield to slay that metaphorical fourth headed beast, Medicaid, $15,000 per more or more per month. Folks, thanks for joining us today here at elderlockcare.com. I am Patrick Kelleher. If you have a question or a comment, scroll down, post a question or a comment because a member of our team will get back to you as well. And don't forget to subscribe, click the button, because we'll keep you updated with additional important elder law matters going forward. Thank you.